My name is Dr. Adrian Robeck, and I'm a behavioral psychologist. Down syndrome is a genetic condition that causes uh, the extra pair of chromosomes and uh, it, reach, it leads to certain uh, developmental delays and uh, intellectual challenges and certain other conditions in uh, a child as he grows up. My name is Murad Al Assouz. I'm a translator of I'm Noah Akram, I'm 23 years old. I'm born and brought up in Doha. I'm Qatar's first female disability rights uh, activist and I'm a comedian. My work for disability rights and media representation for people with disabilities was recognized by BBC Worldwide, naming me one of the 100 most influential women in the world, 2017. I'm Michelle Dixon. I'm an art therapist, so I work with children, adolescents, and their families when they're in the hospital. Braille هو الطريقة اللي المكفوفين بيستخدموها عشان يقدروا يوصلوا للكلمة يقرأوا يكتبوا يتعلموا ويستخدموه في كافة مناحي الحياة. The society today is not very well equipped to handle persons with uh, disabilities, including those with Down syndrome. They consider them as disabled. And that's the first misconception that we need to take out from our minds. You know, when you look at a person with special needs, don't move away from them. Approach them, talk to them, deal with them like how you would any other person. I think the biggest misconception is that people with autism don't want anybody near them. Some of them don't, but I think that's a pretty small percentage of, of the autism population. Most of them are, are okay being around other people. They don't mind it. Many of them want to engage with other, other people. They want friends. They just don't really know how to do it. They don't understand social nuances. They have difficulty with language. And so even though they want to interact with other people, they just don't know how to do it. One of the big things is that all over the world, there is a lack of awareness on the condition and how severe it is. And one of the things that I would love to see the community and the global medical community do is more research in the country and in the globe to see how can we find, if not a cure, but at least a treatment that helps lessen the severe symptoms of this condition and the effects that it does to the individual. I am part of a research team within the region that is learning about how to use art therapy in museums. So I'm doing an online group with adolescents with anxiety and depression. I've been really lucky that Qatar Museums has partnered with us and they've allowed us access to beautiful photos and their collections. And so I'm building a program around that. So using things from this region and allowing our lessons to reflect upon that and do their own artwork reflective response, really capture and understand the artwork from a different perspective. The history is very important, but also how they see the artwork and how it impacts them and their connection with the object is really powerful for themselves and also that therapeutic -like experience. I saw the Qatar Qatar وميسرة لكل الأشخاص ذوي الإعاقة وأيضا خاصة الأشخاص الصم. لما السنة الماضية أو قبل سنتين يجينا زيارة على المتحف كنت أنا مع وفد من الأشخاص الصم 
براثقهم في جولة داخل المتحف كنت أنا بترجم لما شفنا كان واضح كل شيء داخل المتحف واضح الآثار القديمة والحديثة مختلفة واضحة السبب أنه في صور في فيديوهات كاملة الأصم ممكن يشوفها يفهمها أيضا الموظفين داخل متحف قطر الوطني الآن البعض منهم عنده خبرة قليلة نوعا ما بلغة الإشارة شو السبب؟ أنه هدول الموظفين كلياتهم أعطيناهم دورة لغة إشارة وتعلموا لغة إشارة حتى يتواصلوا بسهولة مع الأشخاص الصم أو أي زائر من أشخاص الصم لما يجي على المتحف لما يشوف ممكن الموظف يتواصل معه بلغة الإشارة بكل سهولة فيكون التواصل ومساعدته بشكل عام سهلة في قطر طريقة برايل لها أهمية كبيرة جداً لأن المكفوفين بيبدأوا يتعلموها من خلال المدارس خصوصا مركز النور للمكفوفين كمان بتستمر معاهم وتتطور من خلال تقديم كافة الدعم المطلوب سواء بالأجهزة التكنولوجية اللي تستخدم في قراءة بريل أو بالكتب المطبوعة وغيرها كتير من الأدوات Art has been a medium throughout the century to express, raise awareness whether it's social or political and making it accessible to people with disabilities helps us build an inclusive world.